Hello, everybody. I hope everybody is enjoying Elasticon. I'm here to talk a little bit about end-to-end -end business observability with Elastic APM. Uh, my name is David Hope, and I'm the Director of Observability Product Marketing at Elastic. And today we're going to do things a little bit different. I am going to talk about Sarah, who is our superhero SRE. So Sarah works for a large online retailer called Gallivant, and she's very passionate about her job. She knows that the reliability and performance of the company's applications directly impact the happiness and satisfaction of her customers. So one day, Sarah starts receiving frantic calls from the customer service team about a significant increase in the number of customer complaints. Customers are frustrated with slow response times and errors, especially when shopping online. And Sarah knew she had to act on these errors fast. She threw herself into the task, determined to find the root cause of the problem and fix it. But as she dug deeper and deeper into the problem, the situation only seemed to get worse. The response times were actually slowing down even more and the number of errors were skyrocketing. So just as Sarah was about to lose hope, she remembered Elastic APM. It's a powerful tool in the Elastic stack. She turned to Elastic APM and noticed that they had a free and open version and this was available for Sarah to download and start using immediately. So she downloaded the agents and in minutes, she was able to get insight into her application performance. The insights that Elastic APM provided were like a beacon of light in the dark. With real-time visibility into the performance of applications, Sarah was able to use APM correlation and smart serve, uh, sampling with service maps to identify the source of the problem in no time. The service map, as you can see here, gave Sarah a view into all the services that make up the application and how those services communicate. Using this, she could quickly zero in on where the problem was. From this view, she could see that communications to the Postgres database were failing from the product, product catalog service. Sarah drilled down into the database, as you can see on this view here, and noticed some problems with the Postgres database using the tools provided by Elastic APM. She worked tirelessly to optimize the database and resolve the performance issues. The results were immediate and dramatic. The response times improved significantly and the errors disappeared. Customers began to be happy once again. Sarah felt a surge of pride and satisfaction that she received so much praise from her boss and the customer service team for her quick action and dedication to resolving the issue. She knew that by using Elastic APM, she had saved the day and kept customers happy. Now, once things had settled down a little bit, Sarah began to explore more of what Elastic APM could do. After the drama that transpired with the recent database issue, Sarah began to wonder if she could quantify the amount of money that was being lost on the website during that period of downtime. This might help her justify some of the spend on tools and show management teams exactly how much downtime costs the business. Sarah learned that Elastic APM supported open telemetry, which is an open standard format for creating telemetry data. This was her starting point for adding custom instrumentation, allowing her to collect information about how much money was being spent on the website. Open standards meant that this effort would be future-proof, avoiding vendor lock-in and allowing Sarah to pipe this data to other tools if needed. Now, Sarah began collecting business data using the OpenTelemetry API using what's known as span attributes. Her microservices architecture uses Go. And so, as you can see here in the example, Sarah was using Go. Now, you can see here with this code how easy it is to create a tracer, create a trace, 
with a span attached to it and then add attributes. And those attributes can include how much money is in the shopping cart and can include all sorts of things that you can use to put business data in here and have business data correlate against performance data. The data seamlessly arrived inside Elastic and Sarah was able to create a metric followed by a machine learning job to track anomalies and customer spend in real time. This would actually help Sarah become more proactive during future incidents and articulate the true impact of system downtime. She noticed that it was possible as well to forecast future spend, which would help her see if spend was trending upwards and then also justify future investments that may be required to scale the platform. Sarah never ever took the reliability and performance of the applications for granted. She made sure to use Elastic APM regularly to proactively monitor and resolve any performance issues that, so that customers could shop online with confidence and happiness. She even created this customer-centric dashboard to see exactly what customers were doing and what their experience was like. Sarah became known as the SRE with a heart of gold who cared very much about her customers. And she always went above and beyond to ensure applications were running smoothly and reliably thanks to the power of Elastic APM. So as you know, Elastic is well known as being a leader for log analytics. The ELK stack has become the default go-to logging solution for just about all teams out there in the marketplace. This gives us incredible strength in log analytics. But the best thing is, is that with APM layered on top of log analytics, we get integrated observability. And what that means is, is you can easily go from logs to APM traces and traces really are what helps to pull everything together, to tie everything together in a nice bow. Elastic also has best-in-class open telemetry. Elastic has always been great, supported the open source community, and also supported open source through and through. We support open telemetry as a first-class citizen in the stack. Now that talks about the observability capabilities that we offer for Elastic and why you should choose Elastic for APM. There's also platform capabilities because you know Elastic is backed by a world-class search engine, which has ML everywhere, which enables you to get actionable insights for all use cases. We can also support consumer pricing. And what that means is, is you've got an Elastic search cluster here. You can turn on other things like APM and log analytics without any friction. You don't even have to talk to anybody else. You can just start using those features. And because we have tiered storage and cross-cluster search, you get enduring economics from the Elastic platform, which also enables you to get those same enduring economics for APM as well, right? So you don't have to throw traces away. You can have 100% sampling and keep all that data, and it won't cost you too much money compared to perhaps other solutions. Now, I'm going to do a quick demo here and show you a little bit into Sarah's world. So this is the Gallivant website. And you can see here that we've got all sorts of things that you can buy. Now, we're going to just have a little poke around and see if we can spot any performance issues. Now, this advert here comes from the advert service, which I know that Gallivant have been having problems with. So let's see what this is like if we just kind of add something to the cart here. Oh dear, this is actually taking quite a lot of time. And so really, I think we might have found some issues with, uh, with that service. So let's have a look at this a little bit more. It's worth noting that essentially, 60% of consumers will abandon a site if they experience more than three seconds of load time. And the majority of those customers will not return. And so I think there are a few areas here where Sarah could use some help to find problems, particularly 
in the checkout service, which we can see here. And also, as we already know, there's a problem with the advertising service as well. So let's go and have a little look firstly at the advertising service and see if we can spot where the problems are. So here we've got Elastic APM. And I think, as I've mentioned before, this is a pretty good place to start. Now, APM is about primarily two things, metrics and traces. Now, APM helps you understand specifically how much time your users are waiting for things to happen in your systems and where in the system the issue appears to be. It's kind of like a GPS navigation for your application. It can find slowdowns just as easily as a GPS can find traffic. And you can think of this view as a representation of every single component that makes up the Galavant in online store, a bit like bricks and mortar from a traditional store. And this view is built using all the traces we collect. Every time someone clicks on anything in the store, we assign a special ID to that request. And then we look at which components are involved in that request by passing that ID to every single component. We can then build an overall map like this, which includes every single request that we've ever seen. And then we can also drill down into specific requests. One of our customers, Energiza, reduced the time to identify, prioritize, and resolve system issues in minutes rather than hours because they were able to visualize the health of the entire environment from a single screen just like this. So let's dig into the advertising service since that's what uh, we were trying to help Sarah with because she was having some problems there with the advertising service. So here we can see that there's a latency metric which tells us how long our users are waiting for a response from the advert service. Now you all likely know what a metric is. It's just a single number that represents the health of some part of the system which is no different from tracking your heart rate when you go on a run. Now let's switch this to the 99th percentile, which will show us the worst performing transactions, transactions that are taking as long as 10 seconds. And these transactions will easily frustrate users and send them running to a competitor. Now we can actually see that there are some right there. So let's see if we can drill down into some specific requests for specific parts of the advert service. Again, we're going to go down here and we're gonna click on this service and we're gonna focus on the worst performing requests, the one-ups over here that take over three seconds. Now, we can actually see here that uh, we've got one here that's taking at least eight seconds and we've traced the transactions all the way through. And we can see here that it looks a bit like the ad service sometimes has to change an image from one format to another. And that is taking a very, very long time. And we can see we've actually got the log file for that. See, we can actually drill down into a specific request and see the specific log messages that are attached to that request because we have that full, full stack observability solution. And the context is, is actually tied together across the two things, the traces and the logs. Now, let's head over to the machine learning tab in here and have a little look at the machine learning jobs that we've got here for APM data. Now, this would actually help you to reduce alert storms. You can see all these APM metrics here. We can actually do anomaly exploration for APM data here that uses machine learning to understand what normal behavior looks like and then see if there are any anomalies over there. Now, we can actually see here that, particularly for this service that we're looking at here for APM, we don't really see any anomalies. But now we've actually gone a little further here and we've created a machine learning job that is actually based on the data from the shopping cart. So if we look in here, we've got a job, you can see here shopping cart amount. Now let's have a little look and see if there are any anomalies that we can see in there. And in fact, indeed there was one 
that was over here. Now, GoDaddy uses machine learning to actually perform real-time anomaly detection, log analysis, and auto-remediation daily on 10 terabytes of new data, ingesting and analyzing more than 200,000 data points per second. Now, you know, I was talking a little bit about how Elastic can use any piece of data and apply machine learning to it. And here is a perfect example. We actually have the total amount that's in the shopping cart. And if we suddenly stopped getting any orders, this amount went to zero, we would actually be able to see that in real time that that happened and immediately start to see that there's an issue with revenue. Now, essentially, we've done the opposite here. There was a large spike in revenue. In fact, what happened here is that I deliberately went on the website and brought a lot of leather jackets just to show that we can detect anomalies when uh, you know the volume of uh, orders inside somebody's shopping cart can trigger an anomaly. And that could be useful if you're trying to detect things like fraud. But the point here is, is that this can work on any piece of data. So as you can see, this looks great. We could actually track business data and business metrics with machine learning. And we can actually tie all this together on a dashboard, which uh, you can see here. So I actually created this dashboard for, for Gallivant here, and it actually pulls together all of this data. I, I actually live in Gasport, so there's leather jackets that I uh, checked out on the Gallivant website. We can actually see another piece of business data here about shipping address. So we're pulling together business data like where are orders being shipped to and how much money is in the shopping carts that users are using. We're also seeing the user journey here. So if people are getting blocked at any point during the expected path to convert a user from, you know, just browsing in the shop to actually buying products, we can see if there are any errors on that path. We can see where people are transacting from. We can see the APM service map here on the same dashboard. We can see if there are services that are running slow and we can see log, logs down the bottom here. So the fact that we've managed to tie all these together in one dashboard is the true power of a full stack observability platform like Elastic. So, that's all I've got time for on the demo. I just want to say thank you to everybody and enjoy the rest of Elasticon. Thank you very much.